Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition and it's an awesome day to be a Batman fan with us finally getting reports that Jeffrey Wright will be playing Commissioner Gordon in the upcoming Matt Reeves Dark Knight film. We had lots of news outlets late last week state that Wright was in talks to play one of the Cape Crusader's greatest allies and after Batman Day passed over the weekend, Wright made an enigmatic tweet over one of the posts. In the posts he did the eyeglass emoji which Everyone thought it was the Penguin, which yeah, fair, fair enough, I thought it was the Penguin. However, it looks like we finally have confirmation that he will in fact be the city's most famous policeman. The Hollywood Reporter broke the news and this was followed up by Collider and ComicBook.com that the actor was indeed being eyed for the role. Now personally, I think this pretty much confirms the news and this is a classic strategy by Warner Brothers that we've seen deployed in the past several times. As with the casting of Robert Pattinson, DC tend to put feelers out on the internet before making official announcements and this has been put in place in my opinion, purely to gauge the reaction of the web which so far has been pretty positive. Now when this is officially confirmed, which I think will be in the next couple of days, there's two things that we can take from it. 1. The upcoming film will 100% not be connected to the Batman v Superman universe. We did pretty much know this already as DC are wanting to distance themselves slightly from that, however this pretty much confirms it with JK Simmons portraying him in the other universe. 2. As this is a film set in the early days of Batman's history, Wright may not actually be commissioner just yet. Now the movie is based on the long Halloween in which Gordon was not the commissioner and was instead a captain so similar to the Dark Knight trilogy, this film could potentially show his rise through the ranks during the war on crime. As you can probably tell I'm very excited by this news and I pretty much love Wright in well everything that he's in. He's got a really commanding presence so whether he's in Source Code, The Hunger Games or Westworld he's always someone that leaves an impression and I think that this is pretty great casting. Now as always with things like this there are some people crying out that it's a race swap but honestly I really think that Wright is perfect for the role even if Gordon is traditionally portrayed as a white man. Decisions like this should always come down to who the best actor for the role is and Wright knocks it out of the park every single time. Apparently the role was between Wright and Mahershala Ali, but the Blade movie got in the way for the latter, but even if it hadn't, I still think that Wright is far more suitable for the role. This is the second casting announcement that we've had so far, and the movie is shaping up to be incredible. Hopefully this signifies the announcement of more casting to come in the following weeks, as we have rumours that Jonah Hill will be playing the Riddler, though this remains to be seen. Now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on this news, and if you're excited for the film or not. Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please like it and make sure you check out my breakdown of the best easter egg that you missed in all of the MCU movies. This is a little detail that ran from Iron Man all the way up to Avengers Endgame so it's definitely worth checking out if you want to know more. If you want to come chat to me about movies, TV shows, games and comic books then make sure you follow me on Twitter at DefinitionYT. It's the best way to get in touch with me and it's the perfect place to suggest new videos and topics so hopefully I see you over there after this. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thanks again for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.